foothill. It's called Jameson Park. It's a lot of grass and in time of drought. My understanding is that it was originally scheduled to be a top park or a dog park. Uh, has the council been strong enough in reacting to neighborhood uh, objections to doing more with that area? Or have there been neighborhood objections? Uh, what's the plan for James? Uh, I guess Eugene or Karen. I, I, can, I can answer that a little bit. Um, actually, that park, the neighborhood, was all set up with the residents prior to any of us being on council. And there were promises made to those residents that that park would not be intensified. I think it's a travesty, personally. I don't think, I don't know how you could play ball on that park and not expect it to roll down to Foothill. Um, I mean, it's ridiculous. But the neighbors there have uh, put pressure on the Parks Department previously. If people want that park to have more intensity, we need you, again, we need your participation. We need other people's participation to demand that from the Parks Commission, from the City Council. I'm all in favor of it. Uh, personally, I thought that park should have just been developed and cut in half so that you would have the park not interfacing with Foothill Parkway, much like the one at Ontario and uh, Rimpa. I think it's a silly park in a silly location. Oh, well, first off, Jameson Park is watered with recycled water, so that, that does kind of answer the drought question right there. Um, and that, as much grass as we have, do we need to question well, what we need to do with the drought? Yes, that's a question we should probably look at and answer. But as far as development of the park, as a parks commissioner, as the chair of the parks commission, uh, we have discussed uh, what we can do at Jamison Park, and we have discussed a, a dog park in that area because there is a need for a dog park. We have had uh, emails come in for people requesting to have a dog park in that area, so that is open for discussion, and we are discussing it with the parks maintenance uh, division as we as we go forward. Also, there's been discussions of a tot lot in that area. So, as a city council person, there are problems that need to be faced. I do have the strength to to stand up and to discuss with the citizens of that area what needs to be done, and to collaborate with them to find a solution together. In the, la in the last few years, there's been um, just the, the developing a plan moving forward. When, you, when I mentioned earlier, whenever you make a, a decision on a financial obligation, you've got to look at the long term and the maintenance changes than just being watered. So when we start adding, you have the initial cost of building whatever we, we're going to build, and then the upkeep of that. So that has to be budgeted out for long term. So when, when the neighbors start bring, coming together to say this is what we want to improve, it was put on the back burner for several reasons, and it wasn't necessarily to not standing up to the neighborhood. It was also financial time that at this time we didn't have the funding to move forward. It was um, left until such time the funding came about. So that, that was part of the reason. So it wasn't necessarily the neighbors, but if the neighbors come forward and say we're ready to, to expand, we're going to figure out what we can do. And as I said, we have to make sure that not only funding to build it, but also to maintain it.